In the morning, with a weary expression, Akira was getting ready to go to work. Suddenly, he noticed someone hunched over, eating something. It turned out to be a zombie. Before this incident, the movie begins with the journey of a man named Akira. He is about to go to work for the first time, and that's when a new adventure in his life begins. He is very excited because he has found a job that he believes is perfect for him, so he is ready to face any challenges that may rise. When he arrived at the office, he was warmly welcomed by the co-workers, including his boss. To celebrate this, they held a party with food and drinks. However, on his first day of work, he was assigned an exhausting overtime task. Every day, his boss gives him a huge workload. So he has to work overtime until he feels exhausted and often complains about it. His boss always assigns a huge amount of tasks every day. As a result, he has to work overtime every day until he's exhausted. He then complains about it to his co-worker and friend, Kenzo. However, the complaint sparked an argument between them and brought up memories of their rugby team's defeat. The next day, Akira continued with his work. What motivated him was the presence of Ichika. His co-worker admired for her enthusiasm and diligence. As days went by, Akira started feeling more exhausted and often complained about his activities at the office. He felt like working as a tireless zombie. In the morning, with a weary expression, Akira was getting ready to go to work. Suddenly, he noticed someone hunched over, eating something. It turned out to be a zombie. He ran to save himself. Even as zombies chased him from various directions, amidst the chaos, he managed to say that he would be late for work. Akira jumped over a fence to save himself. Then he saw how chaotic and terrifying the situation was in the city. At that moment, he thought that he didn't need to go to the office anymore, and he felt liberated from that routine. On the first day of the zombie outbreak, he remembered Ichika, the woman he liked and promptly contacted her. As it turned out, Ichika still responded to his messages and provided her location. Therefore, Akira intended to come and rescue her. As he was about to leave, Akira noticed a couple who were trapped due to fear they couldn't go anywhere. Akira then offered to help by buying them some food. On the way, Akira rode his bike and was chased by zombies. However, he eventually arrived at Ichika's location. When Akira arrived, he found Ichika with another man who had been infected and turned into a zombie. Without hesitation, Akira fought the zombie by pushing it away, just like when he played rugby. <gasps> Seeing a photo of Ichika with another man, Akira felt disappointed, however, suddenly Ichika turned into a zombie after being bitten before leaving. Akira expressed his feelings to Ichika, telling her that he really liked her. When Akira returned, he saw the house of the couple he had encountered earlier. The place was in disarray due to the zombie attack. That night, Akira planned to make a list of 100 wishes he wanted to fulfill before getting infected by zombies. As a first step, Akira will clean his room. Then, he wants to buy everything he likes without considering the price. Furthermore, Akira wants to dye his hair paint himself, and try various things he has never done before. One by one, his wishes were fulfilled. When Akira went to the supermarket, he was surprised to see someone wearing a helmet, who turned out to be a woman. 
Akira heard someone asking for help. As they were being chased by zombies, he helped them, but suddenly the zombie attacked Akira. Causing the woman wearing the helmet to move, Akira was impressed by the woman and thanked her. She advised him not to do such things during emergencies like this. After that, Akira returned to his apartment. He looked at a photo of his friend and contacted him, intending to apologize for what happened earlier. After hearing the news that Kenzo was trapped in the hotel, and couldn't leave because it was surrounded by zombies, Akira hurried to rescue him. Akira put on his rugby costume, and rode his motorcycle to reach where Kenzo was along the way. He encountered obstacles from the zombies. Kenzo, who was frightened, remembered the time when he played rugby with Akira that memory made him afraid to throw the ball, which resulted in their team losing. Arriving at the hotel where Kenzo was, Akira found many zombies roaming around outside. Akira had prepared loud music to attract the zombies' attention as they are drawn to noise. Then Akira ran past the zombies, just like when he played rugby and passed through the players. After arriving and meeting Kenzo, Akira immediately apologized for the argument they had. Likewise, Kenzo apologized then. They left the place. At a restaurant, they rested and ate, with Kenzo as their cook. After finishing their meal, Akira wrote down another wish, which was to save everyone like a superhero. On the sixth day of the zombie outbreak, Kenzo witnessed the chaos in the city, while Akira planned to go to the aquarium to get a shark-proof costume so he would be immune to zombie bites. Their first step was to prepare supplies for the journey. As they were about to enter a shop house, they noticed a bus with passengers that had stopped due to hitting a car. The passengers ran. They saw two women and one driver who were confused, looking for shelter. Akira and Kenzo called them to enter the shop house. Akira also saw the woman who had saved him before then asked her to run immediately. Unbeknownst to them, a driver had been bitten on his hand, yet he didn't tell anyone about it. After they finished drinking together, it was revealed that the woman who had saved Akira was named Shizuger. The driver fell asleep due to being drunk. Suddenly, the driver woke up and had turned into a zombie. The driver attacked a woman, who turned out to be flight attendants, Kenzo ran to save himself and met Akira. The three of them worked together against the zombies and tried to escape from the place. <laughs> Kenzo diverted the attention while Akira went to pick up Shizuger. Then, the three of them exited by opening the door together. Akira and Kenzo decided to go using a camper van. Meanwhile, Shizuka, who had no other choice, had to go with them. On the way, Shizuka said she would go to the aquarium, a place she claimed was safe from zombies. Coincidentally, Akira and Kenzo were also on their way there. On the seventh day of the zombie outbreak, they actually had fun on their way to their destination, one by one. The things Akira wanted on his list had been fulfilled. They did many fun things, such as yoga on the water. They also tried kite flying, which they had never done before. They went camping, lit fireworks, and even went for a hot spring bath, even though there were zombies there washing their feet. On the 10th day of the zombie outbreak, they finally almost arrived at their destination, however, the tire of the car they were riding in was punctured, causing the steering to become unstable and hit the road divider. Akira was awakened by his boss, 
and he thought it was all just a dream. Then Akira was asked to return to work, but this time he worked at the aquarium managed by his boss. At that place, there were many fish that would become their source of food to survive. Akira also met the husband and wife couple whom he had visited before, who were thought to have turned into zombies. The place was indeed quite safe, but Akira's boss, known as Kazugi, was an annoying person. Everyone who wanted to survive in that place had to work without pay. Even the zombies were utilized to guard their place. When the resource supply trucks arrived, these zombies were meant to scare off criminals who intended to loot the aquarium. Akira was asked to work again with Kazugi. When Akira tried to refuse, Kazugi threatened the safety of his friends reluctantly. Akira complied. When mealtime came, Akira was ordered like a slave to serve Kazugi and his friends, Kenzo, seeing this. Felt angry and wanted to fight back, but the husband and wife stopped him. The next day, the resource team will supply and enter. Suddenly, a zombie appeared from above and fell into the truck without being noticed by the driver. On the other hand, Kenzo and Shizuku intend to prepare a vehicle for them to leave the place quietly because their tires are punctured. When the resource team arrived and opened the truck, the zombie immediately attacked, causing victims to be infected and turned into zombies. The zombies attacked into the building. Even other teams who were bitten by zombies entered the water and were eaten by sharks. Akira refused his friend's offer to leave the place. But eventually Shizuka arrived bringing Akira's notes about all the wishes he had written. Shizuka showed and reminded him of the notes. Akira could only bow his head, feeling like he would end up there with his work. Even his boss insulted him by stomping on the notes, making Akira angry. At that moment, Akira decided to quit working as Kasugi's subordinate. Suddenly, they were startled by the zombies entering the room. Akira saved his colleagues and everyone there. Then they quickly fled and entered another room. Their boss, scared, had run away earlier. When meeting Kasugi, Kenzo got angry because Kasugi wasn't like a leader, but rather like a coward who couldn't help his subordinates and only thought about himself. Amidst the quarrel, suddenly a shark emerged and surfaced. Devouring its victims, it turns out the shark also turned into a zombie. Thinking the shark wouldn't be able to move on land, legs suddenly emerged from its belly, which turned out to be the victims it had eaten, transforming into zombies. Akira continues to guide people to safety from the shark chase. When he realizes that his boss is not with them, he decides to search for him to rescue him. Kenzo refuses because Kasugi is a bad person. Even once treating Akira like a slave to work tirelessly, however, Akira will still save him because of his wish list to save everyone. Kenzo, who understands that, shows the anti-shark costume needed. Because superheroes need a costume to save people. Akira was cornered. But Kenzo came to help by ramming the forklift towards the shark. However, that was only to distract the shark. Then, Kenzo fled. Akira appeared to be cornered and even bitten by a zombie. Although the anti-shark costume didn't work against it, the pain from the bite was intense. However, Shizuka helped by creating noise that attracted the zombie's attention. They thought everything was over. Suddenly, the shark managed to break through the wall and kick Kazugi, causing him to be thrown back and unconscious. Akira, who tried to help, ended up being targeted by the shark until he got bitten. Shizuka had an idea to attack the shark's weak point, 
In the shark's nose, there are sensitive nerves and using to batteries. Shizuka planned to instruct Akira to channel electricity into that area. Kenzo, who understood the situation, had the task of throwing the battery to Akira because Akira was wearing a steel suit. The electricity from the battery could flow into the shark's body. As Kenzo was about to throw the battery, he remembered his time playing rugby, the fear he once felt resurfaced, however. Kenzo didn't want to fail for the second time, so he decided to confront that fear. After Akira successfully caught the battery, he thought Kenzo had died from the shark attack, which made him angry, prompting him to launch a counterattack against the zombie shark. The shark finally collapsed. Akira hurried over to Kenzo, who was lying there, only to find out that he was just pretending to be dead. They finally exited the place and trapped the zombies inside. It was evident that the refugees intended to survive outside and didn't want to be under Kasugi's command. They continued their journey to survive. Just like Akira and his friends, while Kasugi remained alone there without any companions. During the journey, Akira asked his friends to write down their wishes in his notes as well. It appears that there are only 20 wish lists there. But the movie has ended. There might be a sequel in the next part until 100 wish lists are fulfilled.